And Nikki, we're already, uh, many businesses, you, you talked about it yourself, they are adapting to new ways of working that may indeed continue after this. I think it's incredible what, what, what we're starting to see because the support hasn't filtered through yet and we're not, we're not getting it, is we're starting to see our clients certainly to innovate in a way in ways and, and to try and um, educate themselves in new ways. So we're starting to see online classes now happening where before it would be in a dance studio, we're now we're getting dance studio, uh, dance teachers filming these things. And, and we, you know, as class for kids are also trying to support as much content to help provide um, these, these, you know, the, ed the educational part to it to, to, to make it easier for these clubs to, to run. So and yes. do you think these new ways will continue after this crisis is over? Or will we revert back to what we had? I think there's there's definitely an element of of part of the benefits of of you know after school classes is the social contact uh, you know that, that people have and 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 you know in the studios and in the in the dance studios and the football pitch, and um, so that will always come back again. But I think what we're seeing is a bit of a disruption in the area, um, as well as in the education area as well, and no different to schools having to, to to look at other ways in order to educate. There's definitely a disruption happening, and and edtech platforms have got an opportunity as well as new ways to to try and educate and and progress children have definitely got an opportunity now.